Let's learn how to look at a switching signal and detect a transition looking either for rising or falling edge. Switch signals are very common sorts of signals for digital systems and in particular we are usually interested in knowing when the switch has changed states. So I'm looking at my two states of the switch as a function of time and this is just a specific example. Here when the switch closes we switch to the high state and then when the switch opens again we jump back to the low state. Now the digital system will be sampling this switching signal. I'll indicate those sample points with the orange dots. In particular we're looking for either a rising edge or a falling edge. And we detect these transitions by comparing the current sample to the previous sample. I'm going to sketch out a detection technique based on a generic flow diagram. I'll begin with my switch signal as an input. We'll send that along this signal path and then I'll set up a parallel path that's based on a single delay element. That switch signal goes through the delay and then we have the previous sample available on the output. Let me label the path with the current sample as x of n and the previous sample is x of n minus 1. And this would be standard notation for especially DSP or digital signal processing flow diagrams. We have four cases looking at the previous and the present values in terms of transition type. When the two values remain the same from the current value to the previous value, for example, if we say the current value is low and the previous value is low, then we have no transition at all. And in a similar fashion, if the current and previous samples are both high, then we also have no transition. Now let's take this case. Suppose the current sample is low and the previous sample is high. For example, this situation. Evidently this is a falling edge transition that we've just detected. Taking the opposite case of current value is high and previous value is low, looks like that's associated with our rising edge. So as we suspect, anytime those two values are different, then we have detected an edge. Now if we were setting this up in standard digital logic, it would look like this. We would take our switch signal, it's actually very similar to the flow diagram that I would illustrated here, pass that through the delay element, and that would be a D-type flip-flop. Incidentally, D stands for delay, typically. And if we look at detecting a falling edge, if I invert that low to a high, and then AND that with a high signal from the previous edge, then we have just, in fact, developed a circuit that goes high to indicate a falling edge. Now if we were doing this in software, particularly in LabVIEW, we can translate that flow diagram into this structure that's contained inside of a while loop. Here we sample the switch input, pass that through a sh shift register, as it's called for the while loop in LabVIEW. That's our previous value, pass that through the Boolean gates, and we end up with our falling edge indicator. This shift register can also be implemented using a feedback node, as I'm indicating here. The feedback node serves the same purpose to sample the switch input and then make that available on the next pass of the while loop. The feedback node is nice because it looks just like the delay element from the original flow diagram.